Hi everyone. Uh, today I decided to finish my um, project pan, which is my pink project pan. Um, it was a yearly pan thing where you had to pick an item that was pink or had pink in it, it had pink writing, pink packaging, it really didn't matter. Uh, it started last year, April 15th to April 15th. So it isn't quite over yet, but I'm done with this project. I didn't start it in April. I started in um, November of this, you know, almost like not even that long ago, really. Um, so I had November, December, January, February, March. So f I did five months for this one. I'm ready for a new color. I'm ready to actually have a whole year to pro you know, to use this item, these items and stuff. And I'm just kind of done with this. Uh, they're very annoying to have in the house, so I'm over it and I'm getting rid of it. Um, but I can't wait until the next one, which should be April 15th. We'll find out what color we're going to do. Um, and I can't wait. And again, uh, Jessica does does this one and a few others. So I'll list them in the playlist. Playlist, like I have a playlist. I'll list them in my description if you want to check them out. Uh, again, um, check out Facebook. They have the Pantastic Ladies. Check them out. And I'm just done with this. Uh, today, this one fell on my foot. This is freaking heavy. It's all glass if you can tell like seal that glass it's like really heavy and I'm gonna have a bruise I know it so I'm done I want to throw this away I want this out of my life so um, I do keep them in this so I'll just make sure to keep this upstairs so out of sight out of mind but right now but um, let me just tell you what I finished and count them as I go because I do not know how much I finished. Now, a lot of these weren't even the ones that I was talking about when I um, first did this. I had like a whole list of ones I was going to do. And then I basically just started tr last month trying to start finish any pink item I had in the house. Because uh, the ones I had upstairs were more makeup and I just didn't even wear any lipstick. So, couldn't even use those. So, anyway, I've talked enough. And now it's to tell, time to tell you what I finished. So the first product was this one. It is... Oh, can you see that? Okay. It is this beautiful, hard, and heavy... That's so pretty, by the way. Um, this is the Victoria's Secret Tease Dreamer. I actually didn't mind this one. It's weird because I have a couple of the same type, but this perfume was good. Yeah, I definitely don't have any more of this, but I did like it. Um, I did not like the cat part. I thought it was cheap. It shouldn't fall, come off like that, um, but I did like the smell. Again, I have some body sprays upstairs with the same scent, but it doesn't quite smell the same. So. I'm glad to see this go, and I'm glad I finished this, and, um, yeah, first one that I finished. Let me just do a tally so I know how much I threw. I'm throwing away. Next one, I actually just, I barely started this one, and I finished because I used a lot. It was probably about to here, and we've had it in our house for a very long time. So I decided to use it. It is the Salon uh, Salon, and it's the Damage Repair Argan Oil. And you can actually get these at the Dollar Tree, by the way. And they're pretty nice. I have another one that I got my sister, but if she doesn't use it, I'm gonna start using it. So, because um, regardless if it's pink or not, I'm gonna use it. I love deep conditioners. So this is the second one. Um, I do like it. I, it's a conditioner. I Whatever. It's boring to me. I don't care. Do you? I don't think so. Um, the next one was this one. I actually finished three of these, but 
I'm just counting this one. But um, this is the Dove Go Fresh Moisturizing Cream Spray Deodorants. I've stated already that I wouldn't buy these. Um, I don't think the spray is good for your lungs. I'm just saying. Uh, I can't breathe half the time after I'm done with this. So, yeah, no. It was $4, and like I said, if I did get it, it would be to go over a deodorant because, or a refresher, because this does not do anything. It does not last 48 hours. That is bull and uh yeah i would use it as an extra not the only deodorant but the smell was nice i just whatever i do like this better than the degree one because i think i feel like the degree one is even worse with breathing it in like and it's a nice scent at least <laughs> Next one is going to be uh, this teas lotion, and I finished it. It's empty. I'm so glad. I do not like it. Um, it is a weird. It comes out like chunky, and then it kind of melts in your hand, which is that's fine. But I'm just not a lotion person. I use it, but then I don't care about it. Uh, next product I love because I love teas dry shampoo. This is the floral and flirty blush. Uh, I have my new one that I have is this one, and this is the tropical one. So, so um, always happy to try new ones. My favorite is, of course, the original, but the blush one was nice. It smells really pretty. I think I like the blush one better than the coconut one because I don't like coconut, but they didn't have this one, and I'm always just looking for the original. No go. So that's five products down, which is pretty nice. Um, I finished uh, Buxom. I even took the stopper out this was like more of a champagne -y pink if you're gonna count it as pink um, but I will count it I loved it it's my favorite it's Rebecca and um, I don't even know if it's pink I'm not gonna count it I just wanted to tell you about it because I already did empties and I forgot this so it's just in here but I did love this and um, I need to buy another one and I bought this at TG Mac and it was like seven or eight bucks so definitely go look at Marshall's and that um, TG Mac first because who wants to spend 18 19 20 bucks on this stuff not me now I bought this at Ross And it is the purely, okay, I don't know why I try to read brands, who cares. This is sugar cookie, okay. I got it for 49 cents, seriously. You can find some items that are 49 cents. Now, the reason why it was 49 cents was probably because it was not, op it was not properly on so it was actually leaking and they didn't like fix it so um i snagged it because uh who doesn't like uh i'm saying out a lot but who doesn't like an antibacterial foaming cleanser so i did like it the smell was nice um it's actually it's sickly sweet which is a little new but for 49 cents, I don't care. I still wouldn't have bought it if it was lavender. Well, maybe I would have bought it and given it to someone else, but I wouldn't have used it. Anyway, I'm done with that one. I'm glad that's gone. Here's another product I got. My mom or my sister might have gotten this one for me. This is... Uh, Sparkling wine bubble powder. 
it does not bubble. It is not bubbly anything. It makes your uh, tub look pink, the tub water look pink. Other than that, I don't even think there was much of a smell, but it was nice of them to think of me when they bought this, and uh, I would save your money. Get like um, a bath bomb or something else, or even bath salt, that's so much better than that. Next product is this. This is the AG Hair Care, and it's a glossy treatment. Basically, it's um, it's supposed to help your color stay in, and it's just a deep conditioner. And it was perfectly fine. I didn't see a problem with it. God, that's gone. This was disgusting. A lot of people got this in um, a Walmart box, I think a while ago. It is supposed to taste like strawberry lemon. Uh, it's disgusting. I don't know if they have like protein powder in there or something or extra fiber nastiness, but it was thick and it, it was icky. And if it's supposed to be a collagen for beauty collagen, I don't really want to taste it. I want it to be a thin consistency and it wasn't, it was icky. Ugh. That's what I think about that one. And I voiced my opinion when I finished it. It was nasty. Uh, this is uh, Sand and Sky. And it's a pink Australian clay. It's a nice mask, but it burns the heck out of my cheeks. Under my eyes and my cheek. It's probably because that's the most sensitive place, whatever. But I like this for like uh, my forehead or my chin, but that's about it. And it's not my favorite. If it burns, it's not, you know, for me. But I'm glad it's gone. I had like three of these, I think. Okay. Next, I'm happy, is this counts as two or one? I don't know. But they both had some product in it. That one was about there, I think, at that time. Right here. And then this one was, I think even more. I think that one was like about that there. So I finished it. It was the Viva La Juicy Couture and then the Nior, whatever. That one. I liked it. I got this in um, Birchbox. Now, if you don't know, I haven't had Birchbox in like multiple years, like two, three, whenever the price went up from the $10, I was gone. So I'm cheap and I didn't think they needed any more money for me. It does not smell good anymore, but I did finish this and this was something I got with my points. Their point system was pretty good. Um, if you reviewed and stuff like that, you got like points and stuff. I thought that was good. I don't know how it is now, but I mean, anytime I can try a fancy perfume that I can't afford, that's chill. Um, did I count that? I don't know. I think I count as one. Next, I finished the Bad Girl Bang by Benefit. I loved this. It's perfect for the inner lashes, for me at least, because um, it's cone shaped. I think that's cone shaped, whatever. That's why I call it. I like it. I like it a lot. I have more. I have more upstairs because, uh, you know, places give you a whole bunch of these. Um, Sephora Play. I don't know if I got it anywhere else. Probably just the four player or any like little gift thingies. But um, I liked it. And I can't wait to open another one. But I have other mascaras right now that I'm using. Um, a next, another product is the Roller Lash. To be honest, I barely use this. I don't like these kind of wands. I don't like the curvy ones. Um, it was okay. 
I got a mini too before, but I'm glad to be done with this and get it out of the house. The next one is this one, and it is a Wet n Wild mascara, and it's another curvy one, and that just ran its course. Um, it's either supposed to be leaving my collection this month or next month, so I can go. Pull that right there. And then I have two face masks. from Hello Organic or something like that. There's that one and it has pink right here. It's right there. And pink in the heart as well. One of them was uh, Brightening Peach and Lime. And then the other one was Black Bean and something else. They were nice. I liked them. They weren't bad. That's two more. So I was happy. Then I finished this foil sample of Saturday Skin. And you're probably barely going to see it. I like their eye cream. I would try their eye cream. If I ever got a bigger size than that, I'd be happy to try it because uh, I like them. Saturday Skin is pretty cool. I'm excited to try more products from them eventually. I love this. This is one of my favorite mascaras, or at least it was, I don't know. You know, your teeth change and stuff, but uh, it was time to for this to go bye-bye in January, so it is a declutter and also it's kind of drying out. I love this, though. And I have a full size, so I'll be using another one later. But, um, yep. That was pink packaging. And the last product I have to show you is this body wash. And it's completely done. I actually thought I had more product last time and I try to use it and now that's just water, but uh, it's empty. So it's done. That's my last product. So, 18. So, I finished 18 items out of 50. So let's do 50. I'm okay with that because uh, I started in November and um, better than nothing. That's what I think. So, I'm definitely hoping that the next color that they pick, I will be better at. And, um, yeah. So thank you for watching. Again, I finished. These are all going bye-bye. I'm happy about that. I'm wearing pink, if you didn't know, and I'm wearing a cute, cute panda bear. This is a perfect shirt, by the way, to like walk, go outside and stuff. It's very thin, so it's comfortable to like work out in, but it's not very, you know, work friendly PJ friendly though anyway like subscribe comment down below and um, watch my next project pan I'm gonna actually do one in a minute about uh, some it's like a summer one so that's fun and I can't wait until the 15th so I can do a different color so anyway have a good day check out project any project pans they're really fun to watch and uh, the Pantastic Ladies. Bye.